Hello, welcome to the video. So we're going to talk about these mini expansion vessels that can prevent water hammer. They're also known as a shock uh, arrester. Um, they prevent uh, banging and all sorts of strange things going on uh, inside your plumbing system. So imagine your water meter that's somewhere in the ground or somewhere in the house. It has a non-return valve on, okay, which means the water can only come one way. So what basically happens is um, water will go through the non-return valve not to return again and of course what people do is they heat the water up inside their combi boiler or something like that and a hell of a lot of pressure will build up uh, between if you like two stop ends inside a pipe and it, it's best if it goes somewhere if it doesn't go somewhere it doesn't go inside this valve it can break or damage your boiler it can break or damage your a toilet, your shower, or certain taps, or split hoses uh, underneath the sink. So um, it's extremely, extremely important that um, if you have a non-return valve uh, on a water meter, that you get one of these installed. Now I'm surprised at the amount of people that don't have these things in installed, and we're going around doing loads of repairs, fixing toilets, fixing showers, and fixing boilers that have simply sprung a leak because they didn't have one of these. So here's our water meter and there will be a non-return valve in there for the water regs. So this is one of the problems. So here's a diagram from a boiler manufacturer. They're obviously trying to prevent uh, problems with their boiler. So. Obviously, where, where the mains water supply has a non-return valve or a backflow prevention valve, i.e. a water meter or something like that, okay, then we need to fit our uh, mini expansion vessel that takes up all the shocks and all the pressure. And of course, they want it near the boiler, which of course we've just seen. This can be anywhere on the system. Obviously, this boiler manufacturer, they're after it close on hand so that if there is a problem and the guy's trying to fix the boiler, he can see this. It's no good hidden under the floor uh, from their point of view. But uh, anywhere in the house, people have this directly behind the stop tap or the water meter. But because the boiler manufacturer is after it here, this is why we're sticking it there to keep them happy. But of course, what it's doing is it's preventing the whole house from having problems. So your kitchen tap can start making strange noises, it can start dribbling, it can start turning on on its own when the pressure gets too high. Uh, underneath here we have uh, modern plumbing. We use a lot of flexible hoses now. These can split, okay? So this is why we need one of these shock absorbers arresters. And um, what can happen with your shower is you start leaking out the middle, it can mysteriously turn on in the night just for a brief couple of seconds and it'll start dripping with that head. So that's one of the symptoms that we've seen. We've mentioned the toilet before, it can do all sorts of damage to your ball valve, um, okay? And we do have a set of taps here on the, the bath and, and of course, the same thing can happen with these if you've got cartridge assemblies. And another location from one of these uh, shock arresters, mini expansion vessels is just behind the um, stop tap there. So this is the end of the video. Please give us a thumbs up if we've helped you out and you understand why you need a mini shock absorber.